Hello, my name is Kyle, and today I will be talking about the router software known as Tomato. This tutorial is for advanced users, meaning that those of you who have had little experience messing with routers, it may be too difficult. The topics I will be going over are how to increase the antenna power of your router and how to turn your router into a wireless bridge. To install the Tomato software, Go to this website and follow the instructions below. Keep in mind that this software will only work with selected routers, predominantly the WRT54G series of routers. If you try this with any other series, it may not work. The first feature that I wish to talk about is one of the main reasons why someone would want to install Tomato onto a router, and that is to increase the power of the antennas. Doing so will allow a router to produce a stronger wireless signal and allow for a better connection. This can be very effective for people who have a large wireless area to cover or a location that normally stops a wireless signal. To set the signal strength of the router, first go into the Advanced tab and then go to the Wireless tab. Here, there are a bunch of options to choose from. What we are looking for is an option that says Transmission Power. Here, we can type any number between 1 and 251, with 1 being the weakest and 251 being the strongest. The recommended max value for the setting is 80. Any higher and you run the risk of burning out your router. Another unique and powerful feature of the Tomato software is its ability to act as a wireless bridge. A wireless bridge is a device used to provide internet to a wired device. It is a powerful tool that can act as a wireless card for other devices such as an Xbox 360 or a server. You will need a second router for this method. The router can be of any type. This router will be your main router. The Tomato router will be bridging the connection from your device to the main router. To start, set up the main router with the settings that are desired. Make sure that the wireless is turned on. Next, position the tomato router near your wired device. You want to position the tomato router somewhere where it gets a decent signal from the main router. Log in to the wireless router. From here, go to the basic tab. Now, scroll down until you see Wireless Mode. Select from the drop-down menu Wireless Ethernet Bridge. As you can see, a bunch of changes have been made to the above settings. Don't worry about that. It reconfigured itself to use the Wireless Ethernet Bridge. What you should be worried about, however, is the SSID. Set the SSID to whatever you set the main router's wireless network to. In my case, I set it to Internet. Finally, you want to go down to the security setting. If you put any security on your previous uh, on the main router, select from the drop-down menu what type you had. In my case, I had WPA2 Personal. Lastly, you wish to. Uh, if you put a password on your network, you want to enter it now. If done right, you will now be able to plug a new wired device into the tomato router and have it provide internet to it. In this presentation, I have went over two topics. I have talked about how to configure a router running the tomato software to increase the power of its antennas, as well as how to configure a router to act as a wireless bridge. I hope that this tutorial has helped. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.